Welcome to the MBS Engineering Channel. Today, we are going to understand what the migration velocity or drift velocity is. What is the Deutsch-Anderson equation and how to calculate the migration velocity of the electrostatic precipitator, ESP? We will discuss in the detailed description given below. Point number 1. What is the migration velocity or drift velocity? Point number 2. Understand the Deutsch-Anderson equation. Point number 3. How to calculate the migration velocity or drift velocity of the electrostatic precipitator. Next, we are going to understand what the migration velocity or drift velocity is, and how it is useful in the electrostatic precipitator system. First point, migration velocity is a parameter in the Deutsch-Anderson equation used to determine the required size of an electrostatic precipitator to meet specified design conditions. Values are generally stated in terms of feet per minute or centimeters, sec. The second point, this is the speed at which a particle, once charged, migrates toward the grounded collecting electrode. The charged particles move to the collection electrode as denoted by the symbol, omega, called the particle migration velocity, or drift velocity. Third point is, migration velocity depends on the voltage strength of both the charging and collection fields. Therefore, the precipitator must be designed using the maximum electric field voltage for maximum collection efficiency. Fourth point is that the migration velocity also depends on particle size. The larger particles are collected more easily than smaller ones. Next, we are going to understand what is the Deutsch-Anderson equation and how is helpful to calculate the collection efficiency as well as migration velocity of the electrostatic precipitator, ESP. As per the Deutsch-Anderson equation, the collection efficiency of the electrostatic precipitator is. The collection efficiency of the electrostatic precipitator eta is equal to 1 minus a power migration velocity multiplied by the effective collecting plate area divided by gas flow through the electrostatic precipitator. Next, eta collection efficiency of the electrostatic precipitator in percentage. Next, omega, migration velocity in meters per second or centimeters per second. Next. Uh, the effective collecting plate area of the electrostatic precipitator in meter square. Next, Q, gas flows through the electrostatic precipitator in a meter cube per second. Next, we are going to understand how to calculate the migration velocity or drift velocity of the electrostatic precipitator, ESP. As per the Deutsch-Anderson equation, the collection efficiency of the electrostatic precipitator is. The collection efficiency of the electrostatic precipitator eta is equal to 1 minus a power migration velocity multiplied by the effective collecting plate area divided by gas flow through the electrostatic precipitator. Next, if collection efficiency eta is known in the above equation, understand how to calculate the drift velocity or migration velocity of the electrostatic precipitator based on the given data or parameters below. Next, the collection efficiency of the electrostatic precipitator 99.5%. Next, A. The effective collecting plate area of the electrostatic precipitator is 17,500 square meters. Next, Q. Gas flows through the electrostatic precipitator is, a 500 meter cube per second. Next, we are going to understand how to calculate the migration velocity or drift velocity of the electrostatic precipitator, ESP. 
For example, given data or parameters for calculating the migration velocity or drift velocity of the electrostatic precipitator. Next, the collection efficiency of the electrostatic precipitator 99.5%. Next, A. The effective collecting plate. Area of the electrostatic precipitator is 17,500 square meters. Next, Q. Gas flows through the electrostatic precipitator is a 500 meter cube per second. As per the Deutsch-Anderson equation, the collection efficiency of the electrostatic precipitator eta is. The collection efficiency of the electrostatic precipitator eta is equal to 1 minus a power migration velocity multiplied by the effective collecting plate area divided by gas flow through the electrostatic precipitator. Next, collection efficiency eta is known in the above equation. Understand how to calculate the drift velocity or migration velocity of the electrostatic precipitator based on the given data or parameters below. Please refer to the step-by-step -step detailed calculation for a better understanding. Based on the given data or parameters the migration velocity or drift velocity of the electrostatic precipitator is 0.151 meters per second or 15.1 centimeters per second. I hope everyone understands the migration or drift velocity and understands the Deutsch-Anderson equation and how to calculate the migration or drift velocity of the precipitator by the Deutsch-Anderson equation. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more videos.